this problem about the derivative, we're given the original function y equals f of x, and then we're asked from four different graphs, which of these four graphs is the derivative of the original function up here. What we need to do with this function is we really only need to look at the slope at a few different points. So I think there's a few easy points to look at the slope. I'm picking points here, so I'm gonna pick this point right here. There's, these two are the other two that, that jumped out at me. Uh, the only th reason I don't like these so much is the slopes are going to be bigger than 1 and negative 1. So if I was going to pick, remember, a slope of 1 or negative 1 goes over 1, up 1. What part of this graph has that as a slope at that angle? It would be somewhere right around there, and the slope of negative 1 will be right around there. I've picked 5 points. I'm going to write down what, their, what I think their slopes are. So this point... The slope looks something like that. That's a pretty big number, uh, 5 or to 10. I'm just going to say 8 with a question mark, something close to 8. This next point up here, I picked it so it would have a slope of positive 1. Now I picked this point at the very top, the vertex, because the slope there is 0. It would be a flat slope. And... What else? Next one, this point right here, m is negative 1, and this last point, m, should be the same, but a mirror image of that. So we'll go with negative 8. All right, these are all the slope values. Well, there's other slope values, but these are the more easy, obvious ones. And I'm going to scroll down. The first one I'm going to look for, this, remember, this is x equals 0 is the x value and my slope is zero. So I'm looking for a graph whose point at x equals zero has a, a y value of zero. So again, this on the original graph, this is a slope, but when we look at the derivative graph, this slope becomes a y value. So which one has a y value of zero when x equals zero? And it looks like there's two possibilities. This one has a y value zero and x is zero. This one has a y value 0 and x is 0 right there. Uh, the other two cannot possibly be it. This one, this one has a y value of negative 2. It does have a slope of 0, but it has a y value of negative 2. It's not what I was looking for. This one also has a y value of negative 2 when x is 0. Again, not what I was looking for. So which of these two is going to be? Let's look at the other slopes. I could just look here. 8 and 1. So it looks like when x is negative 1, I'm looking for a y value of 8. So the point I'm looking for on this graph is negative 1x, positive 8y. This next point, uh, what is that x value? Uh, something pretty small, ne negative 0.2 maybe. It's hard to tell. So the point I'm looking for is negative 0 0.2 comma uh, 1. That was our slope, which is going to become our new y value. All right, so for negative x's, I need positive y values. And if you look at this graph here, uh, at negative, it doesn't even go up to negative 2. It would be way up here. Uh, that y value is probably right around 8. 7 or 8, let's just say it's 7, and at negative 0.2, I'll probably be right about there, our y value is 1, approximately right there. Okay, so that graph right there is the derivative of the original. Each y value of this graph represents uh, the slope of the original graph.